Hello and welcome to MySecurity TV and our Tech and Sec Weekly. My name is Chris Coverage. I'm the editor with MySecurity Media. Today we're crossing to Orlando with Yuri Zabair. He's the product manager with ThreatLocker and uh, we were with ThreatLocker earlier in the year for their uh, conference and that's coming up in March 2026 uh, in Florida. Yuri, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Uh, Yuri, product manager uh, for ThreatLocker. And again, uh, ThreatLocker is very much in the zero trust uh, approach uh, in terms of the whole product suite. But we're going to talk about Defense Against Configuration, uh, which is a new product uh, launched and it's a new dashboard uh, launched by ThreatLocker uh, in August. You are the product manager for that. Maybe talk us into the role of product manager and a little bit about your background too, in terms of uh, how you've come to work with ThreatLocker there in Orlando. But yeah, uh, DAC, I think it's called, Defense Against Configuration. Yes. What was the, the, sort of the, the thinking behind this? Um, this uh, product is quite simple in its idea, um, but hard in implementation. Uh, nevertheless, um, the idea is um, to check your configuration because uh, that uh, can be and is in, in real world uh, is a um, uh, vector of attack. So if something uh, configured like a workstation or server uh, improperly, uh, there's a potential security breach. Uh, so hackers uh, can utilize that. Um, and uh, those are pretty simple, uh, like um, SMB V1. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, very old and uh, um, there is known issue in this uh, protocol uh, known breach in this protocol so um, for backwards compatibility um, in windows uh, or even sometimes mac it's turned on by default and uh, uh, to prevent uh, uh, such e an easy breach uh, you just need to see uh, that it is turned on uh, and uh, here um, comes our product uh, which uh, um, checks uh, against every uh, uh, configuration yeah. or uh, every checks more than 200 checks on windows side and uh, i guess it's now um, about 100 checks on mac side and this is a this is an agent that goes into the environment, does it? And then sort of sort of yes. tells you what. And this is down to the I take it down to the machine. Yes. So um, our approach is agent based. Uh, our uh, allow listing um, main product allow listing is um, based on agent. Uh, so every endpoint should uh, have our agent uh, to be secured. Then we are um, downloading the policies uh, um, to make uh, work on that machine uh, possible because uh, our approach is uh, zero trust. So uh, first of all, uh, we block everything and then uh, via our policies, um, we are allowing uh, like basic services or um, let's say uh, it would be Microsoft Word uh, or uh, Excel, something like that. Uh, so um, these uh, uh, checks are built into our agent and uh, mm, uh, sent up uh, to our uh, cloud, uh, that information. So uh, we can um, present it in a, a proper way to our um, clients uh, and admins uh, from client side. So um, admin can uh, see the mm, dashboard uh, and several charts. <clears throat> uh, there um, they can see also um, our score. Uh, is it poor or medium or good? So I take it, I take it that score is risk-based? It gives them a sort of yes, a yes. light so, Yes. Um, also, our checks are leveled like uh, um, high threat score and yeah. uh, medium or low. Uh, most uh, of uh, most of checks are medium. Uh, there are some uh, low ones, but uh, we are um, 
we are here to uh, check uh, high risks. So uh, if there are uh, several high risks, um, uh, your sco score uh, will go down. Well, I'll take it. Can you also configure this in terms of how it goes out into the environment and I start to identify where your high risk environments are and check them uh, and all monitor them? I take it it's a monitoring tool as well <coughs> if those configurations change. Uh, yes, of course. Um, we are constantly uh, updating um, uh, that uh, information. Um, uh, also, you can uh, uh, click on the uh, like uh, some red uh, checks uh, to understand what is the check. Uh, you have a description what uh, we are checking for, uh, what we are expecting there and uh, um, action items, uh, what you can do to uh, update it. So your score uh, today can be uh, uh, different uh, uh, to tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We are uh, checking and uh, collecting uh, daily uh, that uh, kind of information. Well, so you, also, uh, also things like USB drive permissions. Uh, you know, yes, most, yes. most environments want to block USBs. Can you, can you change? Those configuration, or you just identify. You have to then go to the machine and change that configuration. Or can uh, you adapt not, it? Not right now, but yeah. uh, uh, maybe we'll be there. <laughs> well, there you go. As a product manager, that's part of one of those things. I think. Um, yes, yeah, so of go, course. Yeah, you go into the the cycle of you uh, in terms of the work that you do with the product management, uh, because you obviously listen to the client in terms of what the client demands and what. Uh, your teams are hearing back from clients. Uh, and then you're also looking at the risk side. You just wrote a, a report, uh, an article recently uh, from risk to the roadmap. Uh, and so, you know, you've got to adapt this configurations uh, in our previous experience uh, on my screen TV. We've, we've covered a lot of vulnerabilities within misconfigurations on platforms. And obviously these are the operating systems with Microsoft and Mac. So these are the fundamentals. Um, but yeah, what, what has been the product uh, sort of process going through the product development? Uh, and yeah, is there further development going on uh, for, for DAC? Of course. Uh, um, first of all, uh, to be a product manager in uh, um, ThreatLocker, it's not only uh, create uh, roadmaps and uh, epics for development team, but uh, participate uh, in um, uh, negotiations with uh, um, our uh, clients uh, to um, have that uh, communication with the, our C level to understand uh, where we are moving to and um, uh, accumulate uh, then process and accumulate uh, the data to um, to and bring to our uh, development team and uh, do what's uh, uh, needed to be done, not uh, what uh, uh, someone uh, uh, wants or uh, yeah. imagine that. So, um, of course, uh, you need to verify um, every, uh, every time um, when we have a release that uh, uh, the work is done correctly. Um, how long does the agent take to, so it depends on the environment, obviously, with the size. But how long does it take to, to go through the environment for, say, an enterprise? What would be, is it a, a few days or is it, is it minutes? Uh, so um, currently it's not turned on um, by default uh, for everyone, but right. you can, uh, as an organization, you can uh, turn it on uh, by a switch. Um, and um, it would uh, start collecting uh, data right away, but uh, we are processing it's uh, on daily basis. So say you today um, turns it on and uh, tomorrow you will uh, get first uh, right. um, deck uh, dashboard and uh, you can create uh, a report. Um, <clears throat> so uh, those checks are uh, tied to security uh, frameworks. Uh, so uh, if you um, 
have some compliance uh, uh, with the, I don't know, maybe FedRAMP or HIPAA, um, you will constantly uh, understand uh, um, every, on an everyday basis, uh, uh, are you still compliant or not? And uh, um, out of that, uh, you can make decisions to uh, um, update uh, uh, your environment. So in um, in huge environments, there are thousands uh, thousands uh, of uh, endpoints coming and going out. Yeah, so <clears throat> maybe you have a, an image for your uh, new employees. Uh, computers, I mean, um, that uh, has a, uh, I don't know, misconfigured something. And you can update your image uh, to uh, bring new um, employees with the correct environment. Well, as you so, say, the environment's changing day to day, uh, particularly on large enterprise yeah. uh, and, and keeping across that. Is this a standalone product or is this within Threat Locker? It, it's a module that you can just uh, turn on. I understand it's free, but uh, so I imagine it's within the Threat Locker product suite. It's not a standalone. Uh, yes, it's uh, integrated inside uh, our uh, standard uh, um, suite. And uh, yes, you, you, you can just uh, turn it on and uh, see the uh, um, dashboard for your organization. Well, we were also spoke to Rob Allen uh, earlier in the year in, in Orlando. I take it he's the chief product uh, officer. I take it you work closely with Rob uh, on delivering DAC and, and you work with him, I take it potentially day to day? Yeah, yeah. He is my boss, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are working on that uh, uh, closely. Okay, well, uh, Yuri, it's uh, it's great to get a profile of, of someone like you, particularly at the the front uh, front line, I suppose, in terms of product development. Uh, call to action, I suppose, uh, from you and your advice uh, to uh, the audience here, obviously to turn the module on. I think that's the first thing if you're a threat locker customer. Um, but I take it you want some feedback too. I think uh, yeah, what what do you kind of look for from customers in particular? Uh, as the product manager, what uh, what, would, what would be your call to action? Um, call to action is uh, very simple. Uh, when you see uh, all your environment in one dashboard, uh, you can uh, fix and close uh, um, very, I would say, stupid breaches. <laughs> yeah. That is, Google, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, uh, not about uh, uh, high-level uh, hacking. It's just a configuration that uh, is there already. And uh, you need to, um, maybe someone forgot to uh, set up something. Um, so it's um, easy steps that you, you can uh, do uh, to... Um, cut uh, those uh, not very high level hackers from your environment. As you say, these are the fun fundamental basics uh, in terms of make, keeping that, an environment clean. Uh, and as you say, configurations are, are one of those key aspects. Um, and uh, the, the other one here is to uh, get across Threat Locker, 4th to the 6th of March in Florida, Orlando for the ZTA World. Uh, and uh, we were proud to be there earlier in the year. So uh, it's, it mean, just shifted slightly uh, over to March. So uh, it's a good time of the year to be in Florida. But Yuri Saber, Product Manager with Threat Locker, thanks so much, very much. Pleasure to meet you. Hopefully we'll see you in person uh, there in March in the new year. But thanks very much for joining us on My Security TV. Thank you.